or double check, triple check, quadruple check before you put that label on and drop it in the post office. Make sure that you know that everything that's on their packing slip is in their package because we're human and we make mistakes. We just shipped the order. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to know in order to ship your school store products is that you should have a website that you're selling on. In this example, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use Shopify to easily print your shipping labels for your products. And we're going to be using the Munbin Thermal Shipping Label Printer that I received from Munbin. Thank you, Munbin. And I am going to briefly walk through how to process your order and how to make sure that your customer is aware that they're receiving their order, how to use the shipping label printer, and then how to print out the shipping label. And hopefully we're able to teach you guys something. Some of the things that I'm going to have to show you guys are going to be on my laptop. I have my laptop right here to try to do a screen recording. That way you can actually walk through what I'm doing. Okay, so I just signed into our brother Forever Evolve Shopify store. As you guys know, I have been continuing to sell his products and grow his brand. I've all been playing our part and continuing his vision because I did just recently ship out some orders. If you haven't already seen that video, I'll go ahead and link that up above here too because first of all, log into Shopify. You're going to click your orders on the left hand side. It should be right under the home tab. Click orders and it's going to bring up a list of all your most recent orders. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to select your order. So you can click on the order number that's on the left hand side. There's a column that says order and then beneath that there's order number. As you can see, I'm going to select my order number which was 1288. I'm going to click it and then it'll bring up everything that I purchased. It's going to show me how much each item was and the quantity of every item that I got. Okay, first thing that you want to do and okay so I'm going to click create shipping label. It's a green button that says create shipping label. You're going to click that. Then it's going to load a screen that's going to bring you to be able to purchase the label. It's going to tell you how much your shipping carrier is going to charge you for the weight of the product and the weight of the packaging. So all of that is included in the price of your actual shipping label. Which is something that you should do before you're actually purchasing your shipping labels. And I'll explain that in a separate video. If you guys are interested in that, don't forget to leave a comment down below because I will have to film a separate video because I wasn't planning on doing that, but I just just remember. So now I'm in the process of purchasing the shipping label. If you scroll down, you'll see package and weight. That's what I was just talking about, where you need to actually know how much your product is going to weigh so that your shipping carrier can come up with like an accurate estimate on how much the label is going to cost. So right here the example says it's a sweatshirt, it's 12 by 16, it's 7.2 ounces. If you scroll down under the package and weight section, it's going to be a section that has your shipping method and you're going to be able to choose what method of shipping you're actually going to use. And, how and so right here, the shipping service that we're going to be going with is going to be USPS. I'm most familiar with using USPS. If you would like to use UPS, that's also an option on here. They have all different kind of options. You have UPS Next Day Air, Priority Mail Express, Media Mail, etc., etc. Um, so we're going to go with the basic USPS First Class Package. Least expensive label for what we're shipping. We're just shipping t-shirts in this example. So we don't want to have to pay $8 for a label that should have only cost maybe three or four dollars. It comes with the tracking included so that your customer and you both have a tracking number. That's part of the fee that you're paying for and the customer's paying for. So we're going to select this service and over on the right hand side it's going to tell us the summary of our total. We have the subtotal of five dollars and ten cents for the actual label but because we're on the Shopify plan, Shopify of the month because they help us out a little bit. Here's an important thing down here underneath the total it says shipping date Say today is a Sunday, today is Sunday, June 5th. If I weren't going to be actually taking these packages to the post office on the Sunday, which you can't because the post office is closed, if I wasn't going to be dropping these off, I want to make sure that I click this box right here and select a future date for when I'm actually going to be taking this package to the post office. Because if you don't, and your customers see that they're getting an email confirmation today, in their mind, they're going to assume that means my package is already at the post office, already been scanned in, it's on the way to me right now. And you don't want to get an angry customer or have bad customer service because you mishandle how you're going to ship your products and how long they're going to take. It's happened to me before and this is a learning experience so that's why I'm telling you guys today. I will click Monday, June 6th. This is when the email 
is going to be sent to the customer. So you can purchase it, you can print them out today, but your customer won't be notified until whichever date you select is as the shipping date. So we're going to buy the shipping label. We've got our items over here on the left hand side. We've got the shipping service, USPS first class package, and then we also have our tracking number. And then to the right of that, it shows you the cost, $376. Now, the next step that you're going to do is over here on the right hand side where it says print documents, you need to go through and make sure that you select the correct settings for how you're going to print out your document. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this based on whatever you have at home. If you just have a regular inkjet or a regular um, printer, a regular inkjet or a regular um, printer, then I'll show you how to print them out on your printer. And then I'll also show you how to print them out if you have a thermal label printer. So let's go ahead and do the regular printer first. If you're going to be printing out your shipping labels using the regular inkjet or laser printer, you want to select that the, your shipping label size is going to be 8.5 by 11 inch letter, a regular standard size sheet of paper. And your packing slip should also be the same. Packing slip is the information that's going to display what your customer ordered, which you should always include a packing slip in every order. Okay, so next, underneath that, you want to click print shipping label. Now, before we print the shipping label, I need to show you a hack that you can use to print your shipping labels on something other than a regular piece of printer paper. These are the Paxson labels. They come in a package of, there's 200 labels and 100 sheets in here. And I believe, I'll double check the price, but I believe it was under maybe $15 for this. Um, and they look like this. When you take it out, you take it out, there's 200 different labels that come on here and there's two labels per page and this goes right into your printer that's why I'm telling you guys this because if you're looking to print a label using your printer you need to have an actual sticky label and you can get these off Amazon so I'm going to put this into the printer. I loaded the PacSun rectangle square labels into my printer now we're about to go back into the computer and click print shipping label we've already double checked the sizing of both the shipping label and the packing slip so we want to just go ahead and print the one shipping label that we purchased i'm going to click print shipping label it's going to generate a document and i can't show you guys this part because it's going to have my address and stuff on there but um when you go to print it's going to bring up the section for your shipping label and i'm just going to hit command p i have a mac so i can pick command p and i'm just going to print it and it will load out on my printer let me show you Okay, print. And it should be coming out right behind me. And as you can see, when it comes out, there's still a blank label. I still have this side of a label that I can use. So, okay, so what we just did was print out a shipping label using our printer. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use an example of a shipping label printer to print out your labels, which I would highly recommend getting a shipping label printer or a thermal label printer because you're not going to have to buy ink like you will with your regular inkjet printer. Let's go ahead and go back into Shopify. What we're going to do is go back to that page that said print shipping label and I'm just going to show you how to change the settings so that it is um, correctly configured to print out the label using a thermal label printer. Your shipping label size to 8.5 by 11 inch letter. Now you're going to select 4 by 6 inch thermal. And you could do the same thing for your packing slips. You could also use your thermal label printer to print out your packing slips if you so choose to. So what I'm going to do again, like before, is click print shipping label. Can't show you guys this part, but it's going to bring up your shipping label. And now what we have to do is connect our shipping label printer to our computer. With this printer, you have a cord that it comes with. It's a regular, like a USB end cord and I'm just going to slip this into the side of the computer like so Hold on, let me show y'all okay so now it's inside the computer this just came on let me show you okay so here is my Munbin shipping label printer and it just came on. It's blinking red right now because I don't have any labels in it. 
I have some labels right here that Munbin also provided for me. I believe you can get some regular thermal label printers off of Amazon. I'll make sure I link some below for y'all. So I'm going to open it, press this button, and it will open. And these two little black knobs right there is what I'm going to be feeding the labels through. So it won't turn green until you make sure that the labels are actually lined up correctly in here so it can print out properly. Now you close it and voila. Alright so back to the computer I'm going to hit command P and my settings are loaded up on the side black and white. Okay right here you guys can see me switching from my Dash jet to my Munbin label printer and then changing the paper size to I don't know what this is. Hold on. Click print and voila, you just printed out a shipping label using a thermal label printer. So that was basically it for how to ship or how to print out the label. So let me show you the next step. Now the last thing I need to show you guys is first of all how to safely adhere your labels to your packaging and then how to print out a packing slip. So we're going to go back into Shopify. So we're back into Shopify and we are still at the section where it's given us the option to print our documents. So if we're going to print our packing slips out, so change that sizing back to your packing slip size. Change that to 8.5 by 11 inch letter. Now scroll down to the gray label that says, or gray button that says print packing slip. I'm just going to bring up the slip that has all of our information on it. And I'm just going to hit Command P. You can choose to print black and white or you can choose color. Make sure you change your destination back to your regular printer. And I'm going to print in black and white to save on ink. And I'm just going to hit print. Okay, so here's our packing slip. So basically, it's just a piece of paper that shows your customer exactly what they purchased from their order. Just in case they forget or you forget, this is crucial to help you make sure that you check off everything that you ship in to your customer. So what I highly recommend doing is circling each product as you're packing them or double check, triple check, quadruple check before you put that label on and drop it in the post office. Make sure that you know that everything that's on their packing slip is in their package because we're human and we make mistakes but this is um, a very important piece of paper to include in your shipping process and what I like to do is take a pen and I like to write a little note on the bottom of every packing slip, handwritten notes, I feel like just, I don't know, I feel like it's just a nice way to tell your customer you care. I'm going to put thank you for your order. And then I like to put XO, nah. See? Simple like that. But this is something that you make sure you put. Now I want to show y'all how to ship so I'm using these as an example these are some I think these are five by seven pink poly mailers that I got from Amazon I'll link those in the description box okay, so for example if I'm going to be shipping these two products I just grabbed two random products from my shelf if I'm going to be shipping these two products out to a customer what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to Take these, place them securely into the poly mailer, put the, the packing slip inside, put our label on, make sure we got business card, thank you card, promotional offers, maybe a tester, all those type of things. So let's go ahead and pack our order. I'm going to slip these inside. 
this is an example. Normally, I would probably bubble wrap them, even though they're both in plastic. I'll bubble wrap them. Okay, both products are inside, and the good thing about the labels that we got from Paxson is that they are a perfect size for this bubble mailer. I'll show you. Pull it. Here, like so that's what it looks like on the packing label look how perfectly it fits and now all you do is take this off close it the packing slip goes inside and then you drop that in the post office you want to do the same thing just unstick the label and safely adhere it to the side of your package like this and then we're going to put our packing slip in. We just shipped the order in. I'm going to put my package in here. And then I'm going to have like a bunch like this. All your packages go in here. Take this with you to the post office. That way you don't have to be carrying the bag or anything like crazy like that. We just went through a couple of different options on how you can print your shipping labels at home using your Shopify storefront. And I hope that this video was helpful for you guys in some way. Sorry if it seemed a little bit all over the place. Like I said, this is the first video I've filmed since February. So I'm a little rusty, but I hope that this was able to help you in some way, shape, or form. If it did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Make sure you go ahead and recommend this video to your other entrepreneur boss babe friends so that all of our girls are shipping their orders in an orderly fashion, period. And now I gotta go film another video. So I'll see y'all in the next one.